Hello guys, in this video we will see how to download and install Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10 version on VMware Workstation. Okay, first go to Red Hat official website and download redhat.com. Click on products, then click on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. See here we have the near version. So click on it, then click on try it. Now we have to click on start your trial. So we will get the 60 day free subscription. Click on start your trial. Now we have to register. If you want to register, then register by clicking on the register for Red Hat account. It is free. Okay. Then provide the password. See, I have successfully logged in. Click on start downloads. If you are unable to start, click on start downloads. Or once we log in, just paste the following link. You will get the Paste this link in a browser, you will get the all RHL versions. See here, we have the versions from 8.0 to 10. Okay, so select the version from this list. So the latest release is 10. So select the 10. Then see here, we have the options binary DVD, boot ISO, and KVM guest image. I'm going to download this binary DVD. Just click on download now. See, download started. Okay, its size is 709 megabytes. I am cancelling this one because I have already downloaded. In your case, wait until download complete. Okay, I will keep this link in the video description. Okay, once the download is completed, then open VMware Workstation. Now, click on create a new virtual machine or go to file and select new virtual machine. Both are same. Next. Now select the installer disk image file that is ISO then click on browse for the downloaded RHL10 ISO image. Click on browse then go to the downloads or where you kept that. See here I have the RHL10 DVD ISO. Open it. Click on next. Now select the guest operating system as Linux and version as RHL that is Red Hat. See here we have the red hat up to 9. Okay, we don't have 10, so select latest one from this list. Then click on next. Here we have to provide the name for the virtual machine. I'm giving RHL 10 VM. Name can be anything. Then select the location to store this virtual machine files and folders by clicking on this browse button. Okay, then select the path where you have the NOS space. Select the folder, then click on next. Now we have to provide hard disk size. I am giving 50 gigabytes, then click on next. See, this is the virtual machine hardware summary. If you want to customize any one of these options, just click on customize hardware. I want to increase memory to 4 gigabytes. Use this pointer, or you can provide memory in megabytes here. Okay, click on close, click on finish. Still, if you want to modify the settings of the virtual machine, click on edit virtual machine settings or right click and select settings or select it and click on settings all three options are same if you are okay with all the settings then click on power on this virtual machine now use up and down arrows and select the first one that is install red hat enterprise linux 10.0 hit enter see if cursor is grayed out just press alt control from your keyboard to release the cursor select the language and click on continue See here, begin installation has been graded out. Why? Because the options that are marked with red color must be filled or configured. So, click on this installation destination. I am going with the default one. So, click on done. And root account. I want to enable it. Then, provide the password for this root account. Then, if you want to allow root SSH login with password, select the checkbox. Then, click on done. Click on user creation and giving user full name as after schools. User name also same and keep the checkboxes that is add administrative administrative privileges to this user account. It is up to you. I want to add require password to use this account. Confirm the same. Then click on done. If you want to select the software, click on software. See here base environment. 
server with GUI server minimal install workstation custom operating system and virtual host okay in server I am going with server with GUI in here also you can select if you want additional software like DNS name DNS name server files and storage server etc you can select from this list like development tools or etc is that even container management okay whatever you want you can select okay then click on done if you want to change the time and date click on here and you can select time zone from this region and city okay i'm okay with the default one so click on done language support keyboard accept options are there okay also notice here we are able to click on begin installation so so click on begin installation to start the installation of rhl 10 on pma workstation See, installation has been started. This will take time. I am going to pause this video. At the end, it will ask us to reboot the system. Then we will reboot the system and we will perform the first installation steps. In the meantime, please subscribe my channel for more tutorials. See, installation is completed. Now click on reboot system. Click on username and provide the password that we have set for this user. Skip this one. I will see here subscription system not registered okay so click on restart system then click on again restart system then select the username and password then here we have to provide the username so username is the email that we have that we have used to download the rhl -10. then provide the password then click on restart. See successfully restart. Okay. See registration successful. We can also restart by using subscription manager command from the terminal. Okay. So close this one. See here, these are the default applications that comes with RHL10. Okay. Now open terminal. Increase the font. Select it, close it. Now verify the version that you have installed. More slash etc os hyphen release. See, we have installed Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10. You to fit control A. If you want to verify IP of this machine, just give IF config. See, this is the IP of this machine. Okay. The first step after connecting to RHL is we have to update the packages. Sudo DNF update ampersand ampersand sudo DNF upgrade. Hit enter, provide the password of this user, hit enter. Type and hit enter. Okay, this will take time. So, in this video, we have seen how to download and install RHL 10 on VMware workstation. Okay, for more tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.